In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to play Blitz or Lightning Chess on PlayChess.com on a tablet. Now, playing Blitz or Lightning Chess on a tablet is very different than playing on a desktop, laptop, or even a smartphone for that matter. For example, even though a smartphone may share the same software, the screen being much smaller, the board being much smaller, it's a very different experience. It's much like watching, let's say, a movie on a tablet, let's be honest, as opposed to, let's say, a widescreen TV. It's just not the same thing. You may be watching the same movie, but the experience is different. Now, the biggest difference between playing on a tablet as opposed to a desktop or a laptop is tactile. You don't play via a mouse. You play with your fingers, your hands, just like you would in real life on a board. You move the pieces with your fingers, you can tap the squares from source and destination, or you can just drag it with your fingers, the pieces just as you would on a real board. It makes a real difference. It changes things. When you enter the challenge room, you are immediately shown the different challenges will start to appear that are proportionate to your rating. Now, as you can see, my rating in bullet, in bullet or blitz really sucks and well I just live with that but it doesn't change the fun factor now here we can see the different icons here we have bullet blitz standard formula and best game best game is if you decided you just wanted to watch a grandmaster game as opposed to actually play if you click on it just once it'll open a game of the two highest rated players currently playing a game on play chess in this case, Ultimate Born versus Becca King. With their 2900 ratings, it's pretty safe to assume that both of them are grandmasters. And if you want, if you're just looking to enjoy a spectacle of wild and top-notch chess, that's the way to go. But our object here is not to show what it's like to watch a game, we saw that in the previous video, but what it's like to play a game. Now, it's perfectly possible to play games at the very fastest time controls. I don't guarantee that you're going to be able to really pull off a 1 plus 0 successfully on a tablet, but it's pretty hard even on a, with a mouse uh, unless you're really, really fast. It is, however, perfectly possible to play 2 plus 0 or slower time controls very comfortably. It's quite a lot of fun. If I press the bullet icon here, it opens up a menu of the different time controls that I can use. 1 plus 0, 2 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, etc. If I press Blitz, 3 plus 0, 5 plus 0, and even increments, of course, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1. Since the idea is to show what it's like to play even fast games, let's start a bullet game. 2 plus 0, just to not enter panic mode right from the get-go. Now, playing the moves, it's very simple. All you'll have to do is drag and drop the pieces with your fingers or tap the squares. And the challenge mode is taking its time. Let's try a faster, slower game. Okay, let's first play a few moves. As you can see, we have the board, the notation, and of course the times. Here I'm just playing classic drag the pieces to their squares. I can of course just tap the pieces and tap the square I want it to go to. When I do this, it doesn't actually highlight the square. It's unfortunately a small limitation of the play chess software, but it does register what you did. If I press d3, it will automatically play the bishop. It is, of course, perfectly possible to press to play pre-moves as well. What this means is that I can register a move or record a move before my opponent makes his move. What will happen in this case is that when they make their move, my move will play instantly, no matter what they do. There is a risk involved. I may play very fast, but if my, move, if my move is inappropriate or losing, well, I'll just have to pay the consequences. 
This little green arrow is a pre-move. As you can see, I took a risk there. If he had pressed, if he had played bishop takes knight, and my castle had been registered, well, that would have been adios muchachos for my queen. Now, as you can see, all of the moves are played pretty normally, no problem at all. And when it gets really fast, really crazy, it's not really a problem. I mean, the problem will be up to you, but there's no actual problems with the interface that are particularly limiting, making it really difficult to play very fast. Now, let's suppose that this, is, this position is completely lost. I have no more chances. Of course I do, but it's, let's just suppose. And I want to resign. Well, that's not a problem. These little icons on the very top represent actual choices I can do. For example, if I press the minus, it actually means resign this game. If I press the equal, it will be to offer a draw. And finally, we have the different menu options. Let's resign this game because it's not really important for the video's purpose. And we'll give him a few rating points. He'll probably think I'm a complete passer, and maybe we'll get him the next time. <laughs> now, once the game is done, I can offer the person applause. Let's do that. Applause sent. And the game will be automatically saved onto the tablet for analysis. I can then open up Chessbase for Android, analyze the game, try to study the openings, the moves, and see where I could have improved. And that will be the object of our next video.